This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. No, it's good morning. It's a Saturday. We're ready to roll. Either way, I'm out of bed and it is time to talk some Edmonton Oilers hockey. Of course, you would have seen this yesterday. However, I decided to take the rest of the night off. You know what? We've got only a matter of two weeks before we're talking about Edmonton Oilers playoff hockey being played, playing hockey, whatever you want to call it. But, uh,. Yeah, so you know what? Got to take it a little bit slow here, and here we are on Saturday talking about Friday's news, talking about Broberg being mentored by the other Swedish veterans. Obviously, say what you will, but there are Swedish veterans on this Edmonton Oilers team. Now, the interesting thing here is, the last time we talked about Philip Broberg, I don't think we said Philip Broberg is six foot three. 203 pounds on that blue line and we drafted that guy eighth overall last year wow all right that, that's pretty crazy to think we've got a guy with as much potential as broberg and he's six foot three 203 on the back end at 19 years old the guy still has a very good outside chance of hitting somewhere around that six foot four mark and potentially at least 215 which is absolutely huge. He spent last year owning his craft up there in the SHL and did, well, a pretty fantastic job with Sheleftia AIK. I wanted to make sure I got that right, and I don't think I did, but hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Somebody will correct me, and that is the beauty of Dolan TV when it comes to the global audience. Somebody is always willing to lend a hand when I haven't said a European team, team name in over two months. So... The Oilers.com article about Philip Roberg just straight up mentions how he's got the veterans to mentor him, right? He's got four other Swedes in camp here in Edmonton when it comes to this playoffs training camp. That being Clefbaum, Larson, Legison, and Nygaard. Now, you know what? Three out of those four guys are veterans of pro hockey. Nygaard's been playing since he turned 18. Adam Larson, Oscar Clefbaum, obviously. Oscar Clefbaum, they mentioned in the article, is probably the most uh, equal equivalent to a guy like Philip Broberg, just based on the fact that in the article they mentioned Clefbaum spent two years in the SHL after he was drafted in 2011, and that's essentially the same plan as Broberg, barring anything crazy happening here in playoffs and uh Broberg all of a sudden coming out of the gate and becoming a full-time member of the Oilers next season. Crazier things have happened, and we'll remain to see what happens. But at six foot three, two oh three right now, that's a huge get for the Oilers, especially even if Broberg has to at some point fill in in a playoff game. You know what? Just having that big enough body out there to hold your own in the playoffs is going to make a world of difference, even if Broberg has zero NHL and zero playoff experience so that's a little bit comforting to know but again it's all about how you use it and how about we go to a quote from Clefbaum here he's a big strong guy and a good skater I think he has a lot of potential I'm very excited to see what he can bring to the organization now Adam Larson comes in and says he skates really well for being such a big guy he's big strong and has good hockey sense he has all the tools to be a really, really good player in this league. And, of course, Adam Larson, a guy who was touted up to be a very good player in this league as well and has kind of turned into a totally different defenseman uh, based on kind of role, right? I think Adam Larson, Adam Larson was drafted, what, fourth overall? And when you're drafting a fourth overall defenseman, you're talking about drafting a guy that's going to be your number one defenseman on a team, especially when Adam Larson is a right-shot defenseman. Problem is, he's our number one right shot, but Clefbaum is miles ahead of Adam Larson on the blue line, and I think Darnell Nurse is quite close to what Adam Larson brings on the blue line as well, in a well-rounded package, right? right uh, Darnell Nurse, what Adam Larson makes up in defense, Darnell Nurse has an offense kind of deal, but that's besides the point of Broberg here, who has quite the potential himself to be way better than any of the defensemen we have on this team and that's not to say we don't have an Evan Bouchard who is going to be just as good if not better than Philip Broberg but as it currently stands the players on the team that will be suiting up for game one of the playoffs 
I'd say both Bouchard and Broberg at the spot they were drafted in the entry draft, obviously. But at the same rate, the development curve they've had so far are very well on track by 2022-2023 to be far better defenders and far better players all around than guys like Clefbaum, Larson, or Nurse ever will be. That said, you know what? Darnell Nurse continues to go like this when it comes to developing, so who really knows? But it's it's interesting here to think that, you know what, we have a 19-year-old guy coming to camp similar. And again, same thing with Ryan McLeod. Is Philip Broberg, just the spectacle of having Philip Broberg at main camp for training or uh, for playoffs has really stole some spotlight away from the other guys on the team, allowing them to just focus on getting ready. That's the beautiful part. If we're all distracted, kind of talking about Broberg, McLeod, oh, what's the intrigue with Bouchard? What about those other goalies? We're, we're all thinking about that, and we're all worried about that. And here we go, you know what, Leon Drysettle. I don't know how much of an article has Leon Drysettle had throughout this camp. None in the last one, two, three, four. Nothing. Nothing other than being named a finalist for the Ted Lindsay Award, but that's not for what he's doing in camp. That's for what he's doing in the regular season. So that's fantastic to really, again, like I said in the McLeod video, to see our young guys coming into camp, get the invite first off, and then coming in and just absolutely intriguing everybody and allowing the pressure off the actual Oilers to sit here and just practice, get ready, get going, and get ready for that Blackhawks series starting August 1st. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. It is. You, you can't understate how much, how important guys in this camp, like Bouchard, Broberg, I mean, right, McLeod, Benson, Maruti are going to be to this team's success in the playoffs, even if they don't step a foot on ice during the playoffs. Just based on the headlines they've stolen so far, it's nice. It's good news for them, right? It's very positive for them, but at the same rate, it's very positive for the Oilers organization, and it's very positive for everybody else to not be generating headlines for poor play because every, the rookies are generating headlines for great play in these inner squad games, in these scrimmages, whatever you want to call them, and that is huge. So just a note is Adam Larson does have Philip Broberg staying with him, which is good. That's, you know what, Adam Larson, a guy who knows what it takes to be drafted high overall in the NHL entry draft and now takes on 19-year-old Broberg as his guest during this camp. And with all the Oilers staying with the team for the playoffs set to move into the JW Marriott inside the NHL bubble. And quote from Broberg here about how it would be, uh, oh, actually this is from Adam Larson, never mind. Going through quarantine alone would be pretty tough, so it's good to have all my Swedish friends there. Said Larson, who has Nygaard also staying with him, believe it or not. It's a good crew. We're getting along so far, but it's still a long way to go. That's uh, that's just a welcome to living with house guests, right? And yeah, you know what? Broberg is just grateful to have his elder Swedes around as he is to get his NHL experience. Absolutely. Uh, he mentions it's been great. I'm living with Larson and him and Nygaard are taking good care of me at home. It's fun to be around the guys. Everyone has taken care of me really well, so it's fun to be here. And that's the huge part. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Oilers prospects talking about how fun it is to be about a part of this team. And I mean, a lot of guys through the pipeline in the years past have suffered some very bad consequences of just being in the Oilers pipeline and not having a fun environment to be around. But here you are, you're playing winning hockey, you're playing playoff hockey, and you're doing a training camp in the middle of a pandemic. And you've got a 19-year-old guy from Sweden talking about how fun it is to be in Edmonton, Alberta in the middle of July playing hockey. That is fantastic, and that is a very, very good, almost Twilight Zone change from how prospects have come along in the past. Obviously, yes, the whole COVID-19 thing is Twilight Zone stuff to begin with, but you get where I'm going is it's just nice to see that we have the exact pipelines building, similar to exactly what I was talking about with McLeod, right? We've got the exact pipeline building for every single player 
and it's just a recipe for success. No matter where they get injected, no matter when they come in, there's going to be guys here that are ready for them to succeed and willing to help them succeed and with the skills to help them succeed. And that is just fantastic to see for our Edmonton Oilers because, guys, you get Philip Broberg and then Bouchard at the top of their ceiling, <sighs> good night. The Oilers have two of the best defenders in the NHL for a very, very long time. I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you would, and I will catch you in the next one.